As a Christian, do you find it challenging to practice complete abstinence? The world around us is full of opportunities to satisfy every sexual impulse whenever they arise. From television and internet advertisements to the messages we receive on social media, we are constantly encouraged to seek immediate gratification. Modern society celebrates indulgence and the satisfaction of personal desires as natural and even necessary for happiness. However, as believers, the scriptures guide us to live according to the Spirit so that we do not give in to the desires of the flesh. The Bible teaches us to resist these temptations and not satisfy our bodily desires in ways that displease God. This call to purity is challenging, but it is possible with God's help, who strengthens us to resist and live according to His standards. Sex, when practiced outside of God's established standards, becomes sinful. God created sex as something good and beautiful within the context of marriage between a man and a woman. Outside this context, sex deviates from its divine purpose and becomes an act that displeases God. Similarly, other daily activities like eating, sleeping, or having fun can become sinful when not done in a way that pleases Him. These natural desires can and should be controlled. Self-control is a fundamental virtue that all of us as believers must cultivate. It is through self-control that we can align our actions with God's will. The same power of self-control that we apply to other areas of our lives must be used to manage our sexual desires. Sexual desires themselves are not bad. They are part of God's creation and have a purpose within the divine plan. The problem lies in how you manage them and in what context you choose to satisfy them. When managed inadequately, sexual desires can lead us to actions that displease God and distance us from Him. As a believer, you have the ability to control your sexual desires and direct them in a way that honors God. Today, we will explore an important topic that may not be easily accepted by everyone, but it is something many of us face daily. Managing sexual desires is a common challenge, but the correct understanding can guide us. With proper understanding and the application of biblical teachings, we can overcome these temptations. In 1 Corinthians 6, 18, 20, the Apostle Paul speaks about the satisfaction of sexual pleasures. He advises us to flee from sexual immorality because while other sins are committed outside the body, sexual sin is against one's own body. This highlights the gravity of sexual sin and the need to avoid it at all costs. Paul reminds us that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit given to us by God. This image of our bodies as temples is powerful, indicating that we must take care of them and keep them pure. We were bought at a price, the blood of Jesus, and therefore we must honor God with our bodies. This biblical passage reinforces the importance of keeping our bodies pure and dedicated to God, recognizing Christ's sacrifice and living in a way that reflects our gratitude and respect for that sacrifice. This guidance shows us the importance of honoring God with our bodies because the Spirit of God dwells in us. The presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives is a constant reminder that we are called to live in a way that glorifies God. Even when we are tempted, we must prioritize God in our actions and remember that we have power over sin and the flesh. The awareness that we were bought with the precious blood of Jesus should motivate us to live in a way that reflects our value. We must value ourselves and know that the Holy Spirit gives us the necessary strength to choose God daily and resist temptations. This power of the Spirit enables us to say no to temptations and live a life that pleases God. Understanding this truth is not just for intellectual knowledge, but to guide our actions as believers and help us overcome the factors that make us desire sex in ways that displease God. This understanding should translate into practical actions and daily decisions that help us live according to God's teachings. When we internalize these teachings, our choices begin to reflect our faith and commitment to God. Let's discuss some reasons why your body may desire sex, recognizing that these desires are human, but you have the power to control them. 
Recognizing the origin and nature of these desires is the first step to managing them in a way that honors God. 1. Previous Sexual Experiences Many believers desire sex because they have past experiences that awaken these desires. These experiences can create associations and triggers that make temptations stronger. If you were sexually active before surrendering your life to God, you might face temptations again. These memories and past experiences can be powerful triggers. However, God's grace gives us the freedom to live a holy and pleasing life to Him. There is no excuse to give in to carnal desires now because God gives us the strength to resist and live according to His standards. It is important to seek spiritual support and guidance to overcome these temptations. 2. Content that provokes sexual desires. What you consume mentally, physically, and spiritually influences your desires. If you watch content that provokes sexual desires, you are more likely to face temptations. The media, movies, music, and even the conversations we have can influence our thoughts and desires. Protect your heart against immoral and decadent content in the media. Filter what you watch and listen to, avoid falling into traps, and keep your mind focused on things that are pure and edifying. Replacing negative content with positive and spiritually edifying content can help control these desires. Rai, control of the body. As believers, we must be intentional in keeping our bodies under control to avoid sin. The discipline of the body is a spiritual practice that requires vigilance and constant effort. Paul wrote about the importance of disciplining the body so that it does not lead us to sin. Remember that having a spiritual mind brings life and peace. Sowing in the Spirit, we will reap the fruits of the Spirit. This means living a life of prayer, meditation on God's Word, and obedience to His instructions. Spiritual discipline is essential to maintaining control over our carnal desires. When we cultivate a robust spiritual life, we are better prepared to resist temptations. Always remember that you are a child of God, guided by the Spirit, and you can follow God's ways. This fundamental truth forms the foundation of your identity and purpose. As a child of God, you are not just anyone. You are someone who has been chosen, loved, and redeemed by the Creator of the universe. The Holy Spirit resides within you, providing you with constant guidance, wisdom, and strength. This divine presence empowers you to navigate the complexities of life, including the challenges related to sexual desires and temptations. Your identity in Christ gives you the strength and motivation to live according to divine standards. Understanding who you are in Christ is crucial because it shapes how you view yourself and your actions. In Christ, you are a new creation, equipped with the power to overcome sin and live a life that glorifies God. This identity is not based on your past mistakes or failures, but on the perfect sacrifice of Jesus, who has made you righteous before God. Embracing this truth gives you the confidence and resolve to pursue a life of holiness and purity. Your decisions must be based on divine guidance, especially regarding your sexual life. In a world that often promotes a casual and permissive attitude towards sex, it is essential to seek God's wisdom and direction in this area. Divine guidance comes through prayer, reading the scriptures, and being sensitive to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. When faced with decisions about your sexual conduct, ask yourself what God would have you do and align your actions with His will. This intentionality ensures that your choices honor God and reflect your commitment to His standards. As children of God, we have the responsibility to live in a way that reflects our faith and Christ's teachings. Our lives should be a testament to the transformative power of the gospel. This means living out the values and principles that Jesus taught, such as love, purity, humility, and obedience. It is not enough to merely profess faith. Our actions must demonstrate the reality of our relationship with God. This responsibility calls us to be vigilant and intentional in our daily lives, ensuring that our behavior aligns with our beliefs. God calls us to be examples of purity and integrity, 
and he gives us the strength to do this. Purity and integrity are not just about avoiding sin, but actively pursuing righteousness. They involve being honest, trustworthy, and faithful in all aspects of life. God does not leave us to accomplish this on our own. He equips us with the Holy Spirit, who empowers us to live out these virtues. When we rely on God's strength, we can resist temptation and maintain our commitment to purity and integrity. When we commit to following God, our lives become living testimonies of His grace and transformative power. Our actions and attitudes can inspire others and draw them towards Christ. As we demonstrate God's love and truth through our lives, we become His ambassadors, representing His kingdom on earth. This commitment requires daily surrender and dependence on God's grace, but the impact it can have on those around us is profound. Our lives, transformed by God's power, serve as a beacon of hope and a testament to the reality of His presence and work in the world. Let's conclude with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank You for Your Word today. We thank You for Your interest in our lives and for wanting to see us prosper and maximize the potential You have given us. Father, we ask for forgiveness for all the times we have failed to please You in our thoughts and actions. We recognize our weaknesses and the constant need for Your grace. Help us to keep our focus on You and honor You with our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. Living a life of abstinence and controlling sexual desires can be challenging, but with the help of God and the Holy Spirit, it is possible. Remember that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit and should be honored as such. Prioritize God in all your actions and trust in the power of the Spirit to help you overcome temptations. Each day is a new opportunity to choose God and live according to His commandments. And you, how have you been dealing with your desires and temptations? Share your experience in the comments.